All right, doing one of this Heathkit SB220 on the bench this time. Um, it's warming up. Um, this one has been mono banded. It's got 10 meters in it only. There goes my four turns of coil. And also, uh, this one has a variable uh, input um, tuning that where the band switch is, is a um, variable capacitor for the uh, input SWR. But one thing I wanted to show before I get into that on the bench while that thing's heating up is um, the late SB220s and the SB221s uh, and also the um, Heathkit uh, HL2200s they uh, some of them didn't have 10 meters in them they just had 15 through 80 meters and what they did in those is they put in a block for 11 meters on the input side so if you tried to run those amps on 11 meters um, it was like a TVI trap you know where you know a TVI trap doesn't let the TV frequencies you know um, um, go through or a harmonic trap and what that is right here that's your um, 15 meter position. This one doesn't have a 10 meter, right? On this HL2200 uh, and the SB221s. And what this is, is a filter or a trap. And your 10 meters, uh, you know, coming in here, going in it, I don't know if it's going that way or the other, but anyway, 10 meters is blocked. And 10 meters is going to be grounded out. And I actually had a buddy who ran a um, heat kit, I believe an SB221 like that, for many years, and he ended up uh, having brain cancer. And what he did, he wrote, he drove the um, heat kit with a Phantom 500, and he was literally putting 500 watts into the amp to get a thousand watts out of that amp, and um, and all because of this block here I'm surprised it didn't go up in smoke but anyway he did that for many years you know up under that amp and it was probably producing all kind of crazy harmonics and stuff because he's putting 500 watts into that uh, 27 megahertz 11 meter band block or trap right there in the schematics and in the manuals he doesn't tell you that that's an 11 meter block they call it a filter that's what they call it and yeah it's a filter all right it fil filters out 11 meters and actually if you see here these are the normal um, pi circuits for the input I think this one is uh, 20 meters 40 meters and 80 meters and over here is an original SB220 and I got it marked here 10 meters you know you got your um, um, I guess that would be the tune. You got your um, choke, and then it's low, but all of these are fixed. You know, your capacitor, choke, capacitor. It does two, you know, capacitors in um, parallel. But that's 10 meters, that's 15, you know, 20, 40, 80, all the way down. That's your input tuning, which worked, you know, 10, 11 meters on the SB220, but FCC came and cracked down and. Uncle Charlie said no 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 so originally they put a block in some of the later SB220s but uh, you know you can take that uh, trap or block out so then they took 15 meters I mean 10 meters completely out of the uh, later ones and the HL2200 um, no um, no 10 meters and they put that trap in there and all that stuff was underneath the um, shields and the coils and all that and you know there's a lot of components under there you can't really see it on this one because this one's been mono banded and you know most people didn't know what it is or, or how to mod it and Heathkit wasn't trying to tell you you know they just wanted to sell amplifiers to hams they weren't like that black hat one I had when they came with do's and don'ts like hey don't take out this trap and modify this into a, a you know 10 and 11 meter they never did that I guess the FCC would you know spank him and you know Heathkit was a pretty big company 
and they weren't worried about CB money. So anyway, uh, I guess that's enough for me talking. Oh, sitting down, getting old. So anyway, uh, hopefully everything's running. This watt meter here is just showing the input watts on the 200 watt scale of this um, Black Cat JB76, you know, going into it. Also, that watt meter there is on SWR, automatic computing. So it's going to show my input SWR. And over here, this one is going to show my output. All at the same time, if we heat it up and um, tuned up. When you're running a foot switch, you key the amp first. Let me back that up. So we key in the amp. You can see the plate current go up a little bit. The voters drop a little bit. So the amp is keyed with no drive in it then you key the mic you know with the dry that's the proper way to use a foot switch when you're running an amp so anyway key in the radio yeah and that's the 5 watt well actually the 200 watt scale of the drive going in audio audio so we did key in about 4 audio talking to 75 if we talk real loud into the mic what am I doing with the camera here? Sorry about that. Audio, and we're swinging about 100. That's the input SWR going to um, the dummy low through the amp. So, oh no, that's the input SWR because the amp is actually keyed right now. Audio. I'm gonna Unkey the mic, unkey the amp, and just run the um, the uh, driver without the um, amp on. So that's the input SWR going to the dummy load. And I'm going to unkey, key the amp, and that's with the amp on. So it's a 1.5 input SWR. That's the drive going into it. And we're whistling to about 900. RMS, that's the 2000 watt scale on that watt meter, the output of it. And last, we're going to put it on peak. Audio, audio, big difference between um, average and peak watts, right? So we're talking and whistling to about um, 2kW peak, audio, audio, on a dummy low, audio. Audio, audio, what about us uh, talking about 60 watts going into it? Audio, 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 plate current, high voltage, audio, audio, and key it and um, put it on relative power. Audio, audio, audio audio and then last we're gonna put it on grid audio 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 barely tickling the uh, grid audio 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 so that's it everything running the way it's supposed to be on this um, mono bandit heat kit SB220 alright that's it for this one bye